Welcome to the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers where Derek Hardy and his Blitz projections look to pick off the best plus EV plays for every primetime game week six Monday night football Cowboys Chargers Dallas a slight point and a half favorite total sitting at 51 up from 49 uh, Dallas 15 players on the injury report on Friday but more depth than big names uh, big name on LA Joey Bosa DNP practice Friday we got leans, we got plays, but today, Monday Night Football, a pair of leans starting off with Justin Herbert under 282 and a half passing yards, minus 114. That's at Bet Rivers at the time of recording. Uh, Herbert sustained a fractured middle finger to his non throwing hand during the Chargers' week four win over the Raiders. He will not be taking snaps under center. Uh, even without that news, he projected uh, pretty poorly at this 282 for the under. No, Derek? Yeah, he really did. Um, this is a this is a guy who obviously the hand injury is not going to help, but this is a Chargers offense that has been uh, not as pass heavy, not quite as pass heavy as they were last year. Uh, the market has been moving this way for sure. Most books opened at two eighty two and a half. I think there were a couple two eighty threes out there. Bet Rivers and Cami books are the only ones still sitting at two eighty two. Most of the market is down at two seventy nine, and there's even a two seventy four out there right now. So. Uh, this is the side to be on. It's not it's not great value. That's why we're calling it a lean, but there is definitely some value here. The Blitz is projecting 259, so about about 20 yards or so under the under the number here. All right. Herbert under 282 and a half passing yards. So that's in the account. And then another lean. Uh, I really like this play. Brandon Cooks under three and a half receptions, minus 102. That's at FanDuel. Like I said, a lean. Cooks has just not fit well with this offense has yet to top 27 yards in any of his four games. Uh, he's seen four targets, exactly four targets in three of his four, and he's pretty much relegated now to the number three role. Uh, what is the projection here for Cooks and his receptions? Projection here is 3.27. So, again, it's another one where we're not getting massive value. You know, we're getting about – about a quarter of a reception under the line, close to even money. It shows some value, not massive, but like you said, he hasn't really looked comfortable in this offense. He's kind of become more of the third or the fourth option here, and uh, I think uh, I think we're finding a, a, a smidge, smidge of value here. Smidge of value. Brandon Cooks under three and a half receptions. Sometimes when. Uh, when the system finds something it likes that's maybe not priced in, that's when you start seeing play, 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 because it's picking up something. But uh, it doesn't happen every game. That's fine. Uh, but uh, here we are just trying to find uh, a little bit of value in a couple of plays with Justin Herbert under 282 and a half passing yards, minus 114. That's a lean. And Brandon Cooks under three and a half receptions, minus 102. Also a lean. And that will do it for the Blitz in week six. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Cardi. This is the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers. We'll see you back here. Thursday Night Football, Week 7.